Hello everyone. Now I'm going to discuss with you one of the important method to solve partial differential equation. This method is known as method of separation of variable. So as the name suggested, the process of the method is exactly same. What we need to do is, in this method, we assume in the starting the solution. And the solution which is a which we are finding for dependent variable in terms of independent variable that is always a process so we assume that the solution is the product of two independent variables and they are function of only one for example if i want to solve this equation which is del u by del x plus 2 times del u by del y so what we are going to do is here uh, uh, we will assume so let let me give you the some starting uh, process that in this case, for example, if u is the function of two variable x and y. So you will assume that u x y is nothing but it will come out to be product of two function. The first function is function of x and the second function is the function of another variable that is y. So here capital X capital Y are the functions and the first function is the function of x and the second function is function of y and they are independent they are function of same variable so what you need to do is you have to remember or or more briefly we can write down it like that x and y it is just understood that capital x stands for function of x capital y stands for function of y and uh, since uh, we are going to apply it for solving the partial differential equation so in case if the partial differential equation is having the term del u by del x we can replace it by x dash y and uh, in case if it is having uh, a term del u by del y so what we are going to do is it is to be differentiated with respect to y so now x is constant and differentiation the ordinary derivative will happen and similarly if the term is having a double derivative maybe if you are having anywhere in the equation the differentiation with respect to x twice so here one, two times ordinary differentiation of x will happen and if you are having the differentiation with respect to y two times you can write down x and y will be double derivative now here uh, what this dashes means if you are having x dash it means you are talking about differentiation of capital x function with respect to the small x and if you are having y dash what is y dash meaning y dash means differentiation of this y function with respect to small y because y is a function of small y capital x is a function of small x and wherever we have a double derivative it means we are having an ordinary differentiation of capital x with respect to this small x and wherever you are having the double derivative this means you are talking about this variable so these are just notations and uh, we have to take care of all that and let's see with the help of example we want to solve this uh, question this uh, partial differential equation by method of separation of variable here u is a dependent variable and small x small y are independent variable so we are going to assume here let let this u which is function of x and y is equals to x means we, we are we are assuming the answer in the beginning and then start looking for that function so this is this is my function u is actually product of two functions the first one is function of x and second one is function of y so when you put it into the equation one so equation one become now now we are going to discuss the process what it is all about because in the previous uh, page i discussed about the starting how we will introduce so the first this term is del u by del x so it becomes x dash y constant plus now we have a 2 here and then del u by del y it means x is constant derivative of y so this is the first step number one is assume your answer and the second step is substitute this solution in the equation and start looking for the x and y so the next step is separate the variable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep one term on this side and transfer this on the other side now still the variables are not yet separated so we are going to separate the variables 
so what we will do keeping x dash here and here x all the x should be on the same side and all the y should be on the other side so you can write down 2y dash upon y now it's up to you if you want to keep 2 here all right or you can transfer the 2 on the other side or i can see that x dash upon 2 times x is equals to minus y dash upon y and now the next step comes the first step is assume the answer next step second step is substitute the terms third step is separate the variable now all x and the derivatives are on the one side and all the y's and the derivative are on the other side and now it is a time to put these two expression equals to the same constant let it be k lambda anything so i am using this equals to k now we are getting a two different equations now we will so solve one by one therefore x dash upon 2x is equals to k is my first equation let me make a line in between i want to solve them simultaneously and minus y dash upon y is equals to k that is the second now solve uh, let us solve these two different expression one is in x and one is in y and they are the one variable differential equations and we are going to solve it so what we will do if we can we can replace this x dash by its original notation this means x dash stands for d by d small x and there is a 2 and there is a capital x and there is a k so what we are going to do is I'll keep all the term of capital X on one side and transfer all the terms with this dx on the other side. We can we can transfer the two also here and then next step is integrate both sides. So when we integrate, so here it is dx by x integration that becomes a log of x and here it is two k is constant two k the integration of dx into 2x is x plus constant of integration because there is a log on another side i am going to write down here log of say c1 so next step is to find out x on both sides so if i take um, exponent on both sides so here x will be this will be log of e to the power so i can write down e to the power 2 kx and c1 become the coefficient here so why because you can you can you can write down like that you can write down 2kx can be written as log of e to the power 2kx because if you see this again the 2k is done so so we can write down and log a plus log b is multiplication and log will get separated so i got the value of x here and similarly we can find out the value of y what we will do here i can write down i can transfer k on minus on the other side this is t y by t small y and there it is a y here and we will solve it exactly the same we have solved the for x and we get a integration of d by y y is equals to minus k d small y we have to be very careful in this topic that uh, capital y is a function notation so while writing one should be very careful in writing where it is small y mentioned and where it is capital y mentioned so when you integrate you get a log y and here differentiation of dy because minus k is constant so it will be minus k y and constant of integration since the one side there is a log so we prefer to write a log so that we get an answer in a compact manner so when you uh, take uh, exponent on a both side we get this c2 e to the power minus ky and uh, the solution is actually u equals to we are going to write down the solution u is equals to x into y so here uh, i write down c1 into c2 e to the power k this is 2 times this this answer 2 times kx e to the power minus ky so what we can do i can substitute c1 c2 equals to a new constant that it be a and here we can take k common base is same power can be added so the coefficient of x is 2 and coefficient of y is minus 1 and k is a common so that is a solution over here 
I want to share one point here. Sometimes the constant where you are keeping, if you're keeping like I have kept on this side, so inside of x it is calculated. If the same question we are, if you are solving like this, wherein if you keep the 2 on the y side, so while solving, when you drop the 2 on the other side, it will be k by 2. So you get a root in the fraction. So it all depends upon where you are keeping the constant accordingly, the answer of function will appear. Now in this uh, question, I have already solved. Let us quickly recall. Here uh, we have a differentiation. If I assume u is equals to x into y. So this side x dash y because derivative of x is there and this side y dash 4 is there. Separating, you, this step is separating the variable, putting equals to k. The next step is solving them with k. This is the one pair you can solve. And this is another pair you can solve. While solving, this is again, again you have to apply a separation in the x and y. And the substitution of dx, x dash can be written in this manner. And while solving, we get x is equals to c1 e to the power 4kx. And the same manner when you differentiate for y dash, separating the variable, dy on one side, d capital Y on another side. And taking a integration on both sides, we get this y value c2e to the power ky and your solution is the product and we get a c1 c2e to the power 4x kx and ky and you get the answer this is the solution so from here either you get a solution like that or you will get a so if i keep uh, this 4 on the other side so my answer can also be written like that x plus y by 4 so this is also the same answer so there is no problem in that. So keeping if 4 is on this side, it will be like that or it can be a fraction 1 by 4. So I hope you have understood. Thank you.